so guys in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make the best fruit ice cream at home without robbing a bank or taking your children out of your house so if you're among the class of those people that usually throw away their overripe banana please stop doing that as i'm about to show you how to enjoy your overripe banana turn it into ice cream for your children's enjoyment right so this is the banana we are going to be using today let's assume that we are using one for each person because we are six in this house now so you can see that these bananas are very much overripe let me dive into showing you guys how to turn this overripe banana into your ice cream at let me quickly show you guys everything you'll be needing for this ice cream of course we're going to be needing a blender this is my house blender the very one i use at home here but of course i only use this for smoothie i don't use it to blend pepper or any other thing that is the one i'm going to use for today you're also going to be needing a disposable cup with the cover the cover is optional but of course you'll be needing a disposable cup you're also going to be needing these long toothpicks or you get an ice cream stick you can find any of these things in a supermarket you're also going to be needing powdered milk of course you're going to be needing liquid milk and then your condensed milk of course of course you're going to be needing a knife to cut your banana into smaller smaller pieces so let us dive right into the video so now that i've added my banana inside the blender the next thing is for me to start adding other ingredients And I forgot to show you guys that we'll be needing water too for this ice cream. You're going to be adding a lot of condensed milk, depending on how sweet you want your ice cream to be. Banana is already sweet, so I'm not going to be adding too much of condensed milk. It's time for us to add water, a little water. And then you cover it up and blend. So this is what we have. Can you see how creamy it is? Can you see? You guys already know the reason why it is foaming. Of course, banana is in it and there is milk. So can you see that? So I have this bowl and then my disposable cup. I'm going to place these disposable cups inside the bowl. We have about six or seven of them, right? Oh, we have six. I think I'll be needing one more. So we have about seven of the disposable cups. I'm going to start pouring this ice cream inside the disposable cups i pray i get up to seven now the smaller ones some are big while some are small Okay, so this is what we are able to get out of the six banana. So I'm going to go ahead to go to cover them up, right? The, one of the reasons why I love this particular disposable cup and fruit cup is because of this piercing that they did here. So I just cover them up just so the order from my fridge 
you know, doesn't get into it. So that the taste will still be the same by the time we bring it out. So after this is done, I'm going to go ahead to start placing one or two of this inside each one, one or two of this. I'm going to be doing two this time around because so I can easily pull this out from the cup when it is frozen. So now that this is done, I'm going to refrigerate this for three to four hours. So let's go do that. So guys, here we have our ice cream. This is about four to six hours later. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to be opening um, some of it. I think about three or four. So guys, I'm going to start with one. This is it. This is how it looks like. So let's see how the inside is, okay? You can actually use hot water, like put hot water in the bowl if you if you cannot wait for it to defreeze a little bit, but I brought it out and I waited for about five to 10 minutes. So this is it. All you have to do is to shake it up a little, touch the body, shake it up a little, and then pull it out gently. And here you have your ice cream. So I'm going to be placing it here while I bring out the rest of it. Don't forget to touch the body to soften it a little bit. So you touch the body to soften it. So guys, here we have our ice cream from our overripe banana. So if you're among the class of those that usually, you know, throw away your overripe banana, please stop doing it. You can see how creamy it is. Like, it is, it is so, so creamy and yummy. Without being told, you are going to know that your children are going to enjoy this. And not just that they are going to enjoy it, at least you're going to be sure that what they are taking is not just flavor right that you actually know what is the content of what they are taking so guys tell me what you think in the comment section about this uh, yummy banana creamy ice cream this is something you can do in the comfort of your home without robbing a bank like i said before this is me ending this video thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment share and of course subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next one